head to hand. How are you? Let me get rid of these since glare is glare. Anyway, what I'm doing today is a collaboration between me and the rest of the Foxy Five. Laura from Gold Star Work and Miss Mischief Valerie and Tracy Lynn and Miss Deb from Final. Anyway, we are going to be working with one of our old standbys. Now, when I first got started doing YouTube, which was last year, I was coming up on my first Christmas on the Tube when I found this palette at the drugstore. Yeah, five bucks. It was in the Christmas presents. This is a profusion palette. And it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four shades. It's called the Glitter and Glam. Now, this is one of two Profusion palettes I picked up for that Christmas season. The first one was called the Sultry. And I had a lot of fun with that one because when I first picked it up, everybody was going on and on about the other Sultry palette. And that was fun because that was another $5 Profusion. The only difference was there was only like five or six eyeshadows in it and three blushes and that kind of thing. Now, I have since, because it was an all cluttered up, all in one kind of thing and really bulky for what there was in it, I have since depotted that and have it in some um, magnetic palettes. You know, I've got the, the, cheek stuff in its own little little bitty palette and put the eyeshadows in with some of the other singles I have in a larger palette. And I'm going, I haven't used this palette really pretty much since last Christmas. And I think it's time to fix that. So since the Foxy Five are doing the blast from the past, we're all picking palettes that we've kind of let get dusty on the outside so that we can give them another brush off and give them another chance and, and use up some of our OG stuff. Now, I found when I used this palette back then, I liked the formula from Profusion. We're going to see if that holds up. Anyway, I'll be right back. All right, that's better. I already had some stuff that I just kind of threw at my face. I was doing errands. So I figured I needed to take that off and start fresh. And I'm going to, I've got a layer of moisturizer back on because anytime I clean my face and take everything off, I put the moisturizer back on. It, I live in, the, in a high desert region, so the humidity is really low. So even in cold weather, moisturizer is a big deal got my hair pinned back a little bit to keep it out of the way and I'm going to start with beige base this time instead of my white base because I feel like it now technically my film should have already been up but 
I had some technical difficulties known as family life that got in the way. So I'm behind the rest of the Foxy 5 getting this thing done. And because family life is still being a little iffy, I'm going to try and do this pretty quick. Just to kind of make sure that I kind of have time to get it done. Alrighty. Now, these are some pretty interesting colors. I mean, we got the... the pales over here and then the golds and some of the reds and browns and it's there's quite a range but I would still call this a neutral palette it just I mean you know like I said you got your pales over here and then see I have to check every so often make sure I'm actually in frame there you go neutral but not boring at least I don't think it's boring. Let's see. Where am I going to start? Let's start with this one. This one is called Nude. Now, I did notice the sultry and the glitter and glam. If they, they actually have colors that match and are the same name. So, you know, if you've got this one you don't necessarily need that other one unless you want the blushes and yes I'm going all the way up to the eyebrow this one is called nude And I'm just going to start here as something to start across this whole area. About half the time, whatever I'm doing ends up kind of getting lost a bit as I start putting the other colors on. This one is more just kind of giving me my field background for the upper areas that I'm going to be working with. all the way up to the eyebrow and yes I will eventually put my eyebrows on now don't forget we're doing this the foxy five are doing this basically as a salute to women of a certain age since most of mo most of us hit that I sometimes get really annoyed with that of a certain age routine. It's like I use it, but it's just a pain in the tush. It's like we all know we are not young anymore. We are aware. We have figured that out all on our own. Picking up this kind of bronzy color called Center Stage here. Get my coffee cup out the way. Set this over here so I've got hands to work with. Grab hold of my trusty homemade setting spray stuff. Give it a spritz. Dry my ferrule and start right in here with that bronze a 
because I think it's pretty. I do. I think it's pretty. Yes, I am carrying it up because I have hooded eyes. And if I don't carry it up pretty high, when I open my eyes to look at something, you don't get to see the color unless it's up in here. Me and my little squinky eyes. Now when I go out to do my last errand tonight, I will do it in glam. What am I going to put out on the outer edge here? Let us see what I might get myself into. One of these days I'm going to have to do it live so people can tell me what it is I ought to do while I look at the screen and snicker. color down here called showstopper and put that on the outer corner Just deepen that up a little bit with that red. I really do like this red. those two together a little bit. Pull that right across a little bit along the lash line. 
pick up this brush again and do that little dance here. That looks like it's coming pretty close. Now, let's figure out what I'm going to do on the inner corner. And I think I see it. It's a little pinky, it's a little taupey, and it's sparkly. And they called it Cheers. Do do do. carry this right on down under the lower lashes because I think it'll work there. And then carry it under the lower lashes just to put a little sparkle down there. Don't want a lot, just a little. Kind of carry the outer corner down just a bit. Kind of get them to speak to each other a little. Alrighty. Good start. Good start. Good start. Yep. I'll be right back. Alrighty. We've got a little base on. A little mascara, a little liner here and there. Now, while I was out the other day, I happened to notice there was another profusion palette on the sale shelves for this coming holiday season and it looks like this I paid three dollars for this one anyway it's contour and a little highlight and some face powder and it's a nice little face I don't mind a palette that's all face stuff. I don't mind a palette that's all eye stuff. I get really annoyed sometimes when they mix the eye stuff and the face stuff and then they have this big bulky palette or they've got, heaven help us, they've got the lip stuff in there too which is in little pots and it's all cream and the powder gets into it. And it yeah, just give me the stuff you know, a palette of contour and face, you know. The palette.
palette of eye. I'm good with that. You don't have to try to put it all in one thing. All right, little mascara, a little spark here, a little spark there. Let's see. This is a clean color from the Femme line of their lipsticks, and this one is chocolate. Now I picked that up as a set, and it has just burnt sugar and chocolate, and there's one actual metallic gold that is just absolutely stunning. You can either use it all by its little self, or Give it a little of this, tap it around, and just put a little bit of highlight shine in the middle of whatever else look you're doing. They've also got a cranberry in this. It's called Cranberry Mix. I swear, it's gorgeous. Got my eyebrows on. I'm going to turn my hair loose. Sort of. It's not... It didn't want to set today. I think it may be the humidity and weather. It just, I put the pin curls in and it came out and it just went. Bleh. Anyway, go. Shop your stash. See what you haven't used in a while. And then come back and show us. The Foxy Five would love to see what you do with your OG stuff. Here's an idea. Christmas and New Year's is coming. Thanksgiving's next week. You're going to have to go sit around with the family. Sit around with the family and look good doing it. Oh, my grandson and slamming doors. It's amazing. Anyway, there you go. Be good.